Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a little collaboration with a another wonderful YouTuber here in the beauty community on YouTube. Hi Bex, thank you so much for inviting me to do this collab. I just wanted to show you which brush I'll be using for our collab. I decided on this one. I'm so excited to see how my look will come together. And I'm going to tag her profile somewhere up here, put it in my notes in the description below, and pop over and see her video. And basically what we're doing is this one brush challenge and answering questions, a little getting to know us kind of vibe. <laughs> so this is the brush that I'm going to be using. I'm literally going to be using it for every single step of my makeup. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> and while you guys are here, be sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Hit that bell icon and give me a thumbs up, guys. And then dropping a comment below actually helps me with the algorithm. So without further ado, let's get on in. I'm feeling my hair today. My baby hairs are growing. I uh, went and got a hair cut today and they said that my hair is really growing which is making me happy. I've changed up a few things in my regimen which I will of course put in my video for hits and misses as well as empty bottle reviews because it's definitely going to be an empty bottle eventually because I love these products so much. Uh, honest to goodness don't know how I'm, I'm not going to be able to use my I'm not gonna be able to use my base because that's gonna get all nasty and like, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> um, maybe I'll put it on my finger. I don't know. Does it, like, I didn't even think about that and now I'm like, and now I'm a little stressed out. Yeah, I'm like super stressed out now. <laughs> We're gonna go in though with the primer, let the primer set into the skin. This is the Milk Hydro. All right, we're just gonna put a few on here. Okay, so if you guys follow me on Instagram, I did post about uh, falling through my glass cabinet that I have. So you might see some of this on camera just briefly. I am okay. This isn't as bruised as it was. Luckily, it did not get any of my tattoos, so. We are A-OK. -okay. I really am stressed out. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I just have this desire, this need. I think this, the, like, and I think it's making me nervous because I'm so used to putting a base down and I'm just obviously not gonna be able to put a base down for this challenge. Of course, in between the eyeshadows, I'm gonna go in with this bad boy here. It's so amazing. You use this to clean off your brush in between colors. It's actually really good to wash your makeup brushes too. I just put a little bit of soap and it, it really just cleans it. It's much better, I think, than those mattes. So we're gonna be using for this look, this is the Too Faced Palm Springs Dream. Now look at these colors. Now a few videos back, remember that I, uh, I had the gold color break out on me after traveling. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go in with the Cabana Time this shade right here and I'm actually gonna use this mirror because it's a little bit bigger on this palette so all right so first question how did you know you wanted to start a beauty YouTube so for me I knew I wanted to start one back in 2016 when all of the youtubers were getting big and it wasn't just because they were big and I wanted to jump on that bandwagon it was because a lot of them didn't represent me they were going to go in with this color here it's called rum tiki they didn't represent me in the sense of my skin I am several years older than them I think the only one who really is in my my age group is Jeffree Star 
so I didn't understand why my makeup didn't look like Jaclyn Hill's so perfect and come to find out realizing that they use filters so that everything looks great which is fine when you're taking a picture because you really want what the eye look looks like look a little bit crisper and, and whatnot but they were doing it and using it while they were doing their makeup on camera and it just made me feel like I was ugly and not normal for having texture on my skin and having more mature skin and them also not being honest about getting fillers or using filters so that was one of the reasons that I wanted to start and because I don't have a big of, of a budget like they do they can just go to Sephora and do those $500 hauls and obviously I can't do that so I wanted to represent more of us that are bougie on a budget all right, we're gonna go in with a little bit of mocktail, this orangey shade here. Second question, how did you get into makeup and beauty? So I've always loved it. My mom used to go to those Mary Kay parties back when I was little and she had all the Mary Kay makeup and I love just playing in it. And then when I started to do pageants, I got really into doing my makeup. And then also for doing dance, for dance recitals, doing my makeup. Well, my mom did my makeup really, but I always loved playing around with it. I always loved putting products on and I just fell in love. And then when I went to college is when I really got into makeup. I started using MAC makeup and Urban Decay and other brands like that and slowly I just branched out and have always just had this passion for all things beauty. All right, so now I would like to go in with a little bit of Saucy and Bossy right here. So the third question is, what is your favorite beauty brand and why? So I have two favorites and I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for it, but it's okay. It's, you know, my opinion. So I love Morphe and I love Jeffree Star just because of their price points and the quality and payoff that you get with the colors. And I just love the different shades that they have of their palettes and everything can be worn separately together and combined with other palettes. It's just really nice. I do like it. But I think for me, price point is a big deal and sales. They seem to have a lot of sales, which for me, again, that's good. So I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I might end up having to use my finger, but I wanna try to use this blue shade right here, Swank. So the fourth question is, who is your favorite YouTuber? So I used to religiously watch, you know, the, the big ones, the Jaclyn Hills, the Laura Lee videos I used to watch. And they all used to be my favorite, but now I just, I can't relate to them. I can't relate to Jacqueline Hill. I can't, I love Laura Lee, but I still just can't relate to her. I don't know why he's yelling at somebody down there. So now a favorite YouTuber, I'd have to say uh, Robert Welsh. I really do like him. All right, so I am going to be using my finger because this color is just not coming off very well with that brush. kind of packing it in and because I'm not wearing any base I'm hoping that this does not migrate up okay so the fifth question is what song do you currently have on repeat and for me this kind of changes daily just based on my mood honestly it's just it's really what it depends on what kind of a a mood that I am in but there's this one song and <laughs> to figure out the name of it but it's like don't save her I don't want to be saved 
because for me, I don't want to be saved right now. I am very much independent, enjoying my single life and um, becoming comfortable with the uncomfortableness of single life. So I'm, I'm enjoying it. I don't want to be saved. All right. I'm going to try to use Saucy and Bossy again just to kind of give some dimension but also really keep the blue where the blue is and then everything else where everything else is. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I have been working uh, midnight to 6 a.m. at work the last week so I am very much exhausted. All right, we're gonna clean up this eye here. So the next question, number six, is what are your top three favorite TV shows that you'll never get tired of? Well, hands down, it's The Office. <laughs> I literally could just watch that show on repeat and never get tired of it. And the other thing too that's really funny is that the more that I watch it, the more that I find things that I miss the first go around while watching it. So it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. Uh, the second one, the second one would have to be Sex and the City. And the third TV show, huh, that's a good one that I'd have to think about. I'm trying to, I don't know, I guess just reality TV shows really like, I guess it's not the same ones on repeat, <laughs> like the same series. But I do like watching Survivor or Married at First Sight or Love is Blind. I just, I don't ever get bored of those. Probably because I'm a sucker for those shows. And I'm a hopeless romantic, so I like to think that these people are all going to end up together. <laughs> oh, yeah. She purdy. Ha, ha, ha. So this is gonna get really interesting because I have to use this for foundation and all of that jazz. I'm like trying to think of what I wanna do next. All right, we're gonna try Bye Bye Dark Spots It Concealer and Serum in one in the shade Neutral Light 22. It's one of those little sample packs that I did get from my friend. So the next one is, what is your favorite activity to do during your favorite season? So for me, I really do love the fall. Even though here in Vegas, we don't <laughs> really have fall. So I love going to pumpkin patches, you know, typical white girl shit. Uh, and so I, I really enjoy that. I love watching scary movies, fall movies. I, I love apple cider, just doing all the cozy, fun things in the fall. What is my favorite scent? So a perfume that I absolutely love is Gucci Flora. It's just a really light, flowery scent, and it smells delightful. But then also I've become very obsessed with Tom Ford Black Cherry. So that, that's become a, a favorite of mine. But I also, during the fall time, I love all the pumpkin smelling candles. <laughs> I just love those. And I know I need to do my eyebrows, which I will here in a second. What kind of a pet person are you? Well, I have dogs and cats. So I'm definitely dogs and cats for sure. I'm not a big snake person. I'm just not a fan. Um, I don't know. I've just always had a fear. So that's just not my cup of tea. But birds are interesting. I just don't think I personally could own one. But I think they're cool. We're gonna go in with the NYX Brow and the shade Cool Ash Brown. 
what is something you'd like to tell someone that's having a bad day? So I know sometimes it's hard having bad days. Sometimes it just, it seems like your bad days are never ending and it's just one thing after another and, and you're just, you're tired of it. So I would tell somebody, you know, things can only go up from here. What goes down must come up, you know? So just to hold on and, and just get through the rocky, the rocky season or just a bad day. And then I remind people too that just because you have a bad day, it doesn't mean that you have a bad life. So that's always important. And my eyebrows look like doo-doo because I need to get them waxed, which next week. What are some of your answers to these questions? What would you tell me if I was having a bad day? This challenge is like really interesting. It's hard, but it's it's really made me appreciate all kinds of brushes now. I think this is as good as brows are gonna get today because I need my eyebrows done, so. All right, so we're gonna go in with the, this is the Luminous Silk from Giorgio Armani. We're gonna try out that foundation. I don't know what shade. I might do this number nine, which I think is not the, it's like the second to lightest shade. So last night I yelled at this lady at the dog park because her dog was bothering Gus while Gus was trying to drink water and Gus doesn't like that. And her dog wouldn't leave Gus alone and like Gus would just kind of like snap and like bark just to show his presence to say, hey, I don't like this, leave me alone. This is, this is quite interesting. Okay. It does not look like this in the packet at all. Like, I would like everybody to just look. Does that even resemble? No, it doesn't. This is crazy to me. This is crazy town. So she comes over and grabs her dog, but then tries to shove Gus away. And I'm like, you're gonna get bit. You need to grab him by the collar and let me grab him, please. And she starts yelling at me and telling me that my dog's aggressive because Gus ended up just pinning her dog down, not biting him, nothing, just pinned him down like, like you're gonna leave me alone. Never bit him, nothing, nothing of that sort. So she, she walks away, but she's talking crap about me as she's walking away. Of course they're gonna start munching. So she starts talking crap about me and I'm just like, if you honestly, like, if you have something to say to me, just say it to my face. Well, your dog's aggressive. I don't know why he's here at this park. My dog comes to this park, both my dogs come to this park every single day, twice a day, sometimes more. And there's never issues. So I don't know, you know, what the problem is, but my dog's not aggressive. And not only that, but if you knew anything about dogs, you would know that literally that's what they do. Oh, there's like this triangle thing too to do. I guess with bronzer now. And so, and so it's just a thing with dogs. It's not aggressive, it's not, it's just a, hey, this is how I'm feeling, you know, back up or a dominance thing. They like to assert, assert a little dominance of, hey, you're bothering me, I'm the dominant one. Like, it is what it is. So I was pretty frustrated with her and I'm like, you know, just, if you have problems with my dog, just talk to me. Like, don't make it this big thing at the park. Especially when Gus, Gus is a good dog. I mean, obviously we were attacked by our neighbor and Gus didn't even do anything. So, this is very interesting trying to pull this out with. And then I was also frustrated because I have been working nights overnights and I'm just not a fan and I'm just exhausted mentally and yeah so but instead of just talking to me about it she just had to go off and and act a fool and I'm like no I'm not gonna have this you're not gonna speak to me like this it's gonna take forever to blend this out so that had me a little frustrated last night and I'm normally not an aggressive person. And it's so funny just trying to blend this out and I'm looking using this little mirror and then using the viewfinder here. So 
I'm just not, I'm not an aggressive person, but don't like, don't mess with my dog. And then don't call me a And then I called her a back. <laughs> All right, that was not the color that I thought it would be. So that's kind of funny. That's like super hilarious to me. All right, let's try this other color. So this is shade 55. If this comes out any funnier, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I quit. <laughs> okay, this is a little bit better. This is just gonna be interesting for foundation. <laughs> I have to put it down on something because it just comes out. My gosh, why are these like all so dark? Oh boy, oh boy. So yeah, that's, <laughs> That's something interesting that's happened to me this week. And then besides the getting cut up. <laughs> that's good coverage though. It does look really nice and dewy though. It has a, a good a good scent to it. I wish I had a beauty sponge that I could use for this challenge, but I can't. It is though giving some airbrush vibes with the with the way this brush, and this is why I picked this brush for this challenge, because I said, all right, I'm gonna have to apply all my makeup. At least I want something that, you know, is really gonna give me a nice, a nice brushy, air brushy, flawless finish, so. How was everybody's week so far? You guys done anything fun? I'm excited, next week I'm going to go to Raleigh, North Carolina. My friend moved out there for work and so I'm gonna go see him and I'm really excited. I have not seen him in a very long time. So I also got told that I'm aggressive, or no, I told somebody that they were aggressive. Um, I got asked I got asked on a date and I was like, okay, like, cool, you know, I'll go. And he, I'm the kind of person that if you make plans with me, if I don't hear from you the day of or the day before and we're not really communicating, I'm just gonna assume that we're not still on, that we're, you know, not a big deal. You've lost interest. It doesn't bother me one bit, whatever. No, the guy messages me the next day and is like, thanks for standing me up. I guess you just have a lot of guys after you. Now again, remember, I'm not on dating apps. I, I'm just like, it was a guy in a singles group that I'm in on Facebook that's like people just looking for other people to do fun things with around the city. Um, so, you know, really wish I had a sponge. <laughs> um, so, so anyways, you know, I, I agreed. I said, okay, like I'll go to dinner. One, he never told me what time and what what the plan was. Like never said, hey, this is where we're going. I made, re made reservations. Here's the address, yada, yada, yada. Nothing, nothing. I didn't hear from him after 11 o'clock the day before we were supposed to go out. And then like didn't hear from him the day we're supposed to go out. So as somebody who's been stood up before, I just, I go with the punches, like, cool. Like, I don't really, like, not a big deal. If that's what's gonna happen, that's what's gonna happen. I can't change it, whatever, right? <sighs> when I tell you that, like, like him just coming in hot like that, I was like, dude, like, you're coming at me very aggressive. Didn't even say, hey, good morning, how are you? You know, I'm sad that we didn't go on our date yesterday. None of that, it was just very much from the get-go, like, my fault and he's like you didn't get my message and I said no and I tried to explain to him that when people that have Android phones sometimes messages don't always go through with my iPhone and he's like well I've never had a problem okay like good for you <laughs> like I don't know what to tell you all right we're gonna go in with some powder we're gonna use the KVD Lock It Setting Powder. And I'm using a puff. I'm sorry, girl. Like, I've gotta use, I gotta use something else. So, he, 
it was just very aggressive like he just knew everything he's like well i have family members and friends that have an iphone and i've never had issues okay well congratulations that you've never had issues i've had issues quite often quite often i've had issues with with Android to, to iPhone. It must be nice that you don't have that. But he wanted to argue with me, which really upset me to just like wanting to argue automatically and then assuming things. And I said, well, you know, I would love it if you just didn't assume what happened and you asked me about it. And I was like, plus like, if I don't hear from you, like, um, again, I'm not somebody that's just going to be like, you know, He's like, well, we agreed on this place. We talked about how it was good food. How is that like an agreement that that's where we're going? So I was just like, you know what, dude, I'm done arguing. I'm done with this whole thing. Like, best of luck to you. And then telling me that I'm, oh, then he told me I was too sensitive. I was like, okay. Uh, we're going to go in with the NYX. This is the Butter Melt Bronzer. And this is in the shade Deserve Butter. It's a really pretty shade. I really like it. Uh, girl, I'm using a different brush because I can't with this right now after. So, yeah, it was it was interesting. I'm like, so this is why I don't date because the men out here are crazy and they get mad at you for literally nothing. I think I was more upset too, the fact that he was just like, oh, I guess just all these other guys. I'm like, ew, ew, mm-mm, dude. No, thank you. I ain't nobody. I see if I can bronze this out down here. And I love the way this bronzer smells. It smells like summer, like suntan lotion or um, uh, sun tanning oil. All right, so now we are gonna try the ambient light from Hourglass, this baked blush here. If you guys are dating, what is it, what is it like for you out here right now? Is it, is it pretty bad for you? Is it as bad as mine? <laughs> My experiences, I'm hoping that it's not though because I just don't wish this craziness on anyone except for maybe my ex because he can deserve it. <laughs> Eyeliner, I was gonna use some pencil, but I don't know what happened to it. Just do a little mascara on the bottom here. No, dating is wild, and this is why I'm not going back on the apps, for sure. It is just, it's a scary place up there. I did do a really cool thing, and again, if you follow me on Instagram, you see my stories. I did do a cool thing where I went and had where I had dinner with five strangers and that was a lot of fun. I've actually made friends from it. I love the people that I that I went with. Um, they were just, they were great. Well, not that I went with them, but like I met them there. Yeah, really great people. All right, let's dust off some of the excess powder here. <laughs> We're gonna use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. What shade is this? I don't know, it's the one, oh, Milk. It's like the one everybody talks about. Yeah, it's just a little white pencil here. I'm just putting it a little bit on the inner corners just to give it a little, little sheen here. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And it's funny because it looks shimmery, but it's not. It's just white. Just tap it in there. Tap, 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 tap. If only I can figure out how to like push it up or whatever. I'll clean it off though, because my foundation got it all dirty. I'm gonna try out that lip liner tint. All right, we're gonna let that dry. I do like how this naked look turned out though. It's not too bad her just using, uh, not too bad her just using one brush, but. 
All right, I'm going to take the dogs out. We're going to, um, I'm gonna take them out, let them settle. We'll come back, peel it off. Um, yeah, and then we'll give final thoughts on this look. So far, I think it's a really pretty look, actually. I really like the blue shimmer. Hmm, I'll see you, Too Faced. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be back. All right, guys, we are back. I have taken off the lippy. This is the final look. I do love the foundation. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is a little cakey, but honestly, it looks like a filter almost. Like, everything looks flawless. It's really great. Um, the eye look is really nice as well. I didn't think this one brush challenge I would actually like the way things turned out, but I am loving it for sure. I'm loving that little white hack with the <laughs> with the white pencil to make it look like it's shimmery, but it's really not it's just white. Uh, loving that. <laughs> uh, my lips are a little dry, so some of the lip stain did stick to it a little bit, but nothing I can't fix. I do need to hydrate myself more as well as do a lip scrub. But other than that, I'm definitely loving it. So excited for my girl Itzel. Uh, check out her YouTube channel. I'm gonna link a video to hers. The, her, we're both doing these uh, this collab together. So I'm gonna link somewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna link the, the video to like, I'm gonna link to her page, her YouTube channel with the video. So that way you guys can go and check that out. And yeah, just everything that I've used description in the description box. I do have affiliate links. Of course, I do get a very tiny little commission. Um, since October, I've made $10 from my affiliate links. So thank you guys. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on all socials. See you guys next time. And they said that my <laughs> so, Bless you. I don't think this was a good shade to use. Maybe I can use it as a bronzer. <laughs> Thanks for burping in my face.